what most people think of Tumwater, they think about the brewery. And so, I mean, it was the heartbeat of the community. But the brewery is crumbling. We took off just the loose brick, just by hand. Built between 1905 and 1906, the old brew house tower still has some of the machinery that turned out beer here until Prohibition, before the building was abandoned. The brewery closed in 2003, but the tower remains on the National Registry of Historic Places. And we just saw a picture, and we have three estimators in our office, and all of us just kind of go, oh, this is such a cool building. Kevin Hadfield is heading up the brewery's masonry restoration project. We're just taking down the top two, four, six, eight feet of the walls, going down to get solid masonry. Abstract masonry restoration is shoring up the property, replacing old damaged bricks with new ones in four slightly different colors in an attempt to match the original look. A hundred years ago, they didn't have computer um, aided kilns. They didn't have as controlled of environments. And so when they fire the brick, uh, the temperature changes, change the color of the brick slightly. City planners talk about placemaking. We've got a place already. Tumwater Mayor Pete Komet is excited to see the progress. New roofs are coming after the bricks. Next, the city is looking for funding to pay for earthquake retrofit. Fixing up the tower will cost more than $6 million. The mayor hopes the work will make the property more attractive to a private buyer who can bring business and visitors back here. Here we have an opportunity not just to recreate a building, but recreate that sense of place. Preserving the past for the future is a challenge these masons are glad to tackle. There's only so many chimneys you rebuild till it's kind of the same thing. Get jobs like this and it's one you remember for years to come. Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.